All right, we're asked to express this vector as a product of its length and direction. All right, so its length or its magnitude, let's find that first. Um, so this means the length of V or the magnitude of vector V. Um, and that's just going to be equal to the square root of V1 squared plus V2 squared. Um, so that's the square root of 9 plus 16, which is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So our magnitude, the magnitude of this vector is 5, or the length of the vector is 5. All right, so now um, we need to, to find the direction of the vector. And now remember, a vector has both a length or magnitude and a direction. If you take this vector and divide it by its magnitude, you're gonna, what you're going to be left with is just the direction. It's going to be a unit vector, a vector of length 1 that's pointing you in the same direction, but it, we've taken out the, the magnitude part of the vector. So, and we're left with just the, the direction. So we're going we're gonna to write that like this. The, this vector divided by its length or its magnitude. So this right here, when you see a vector divided by its magnitude, um, this is just saying this is the direction of the vector. Um, all right, so the direction is just going to be this vector uh, v, negative 3, i um, minus 4j, and we're going to divide that by our magnitude, which is 5. So that's going to be equal to uh, negative 3 fifths i minus 4 fifths j. And so this right here is a unit vector. If you went and figured out the length of this vector, it's going to be 1. And you can check that on your own if you like. But this is going to be um, a unit vector, a vector of length 1. But it's pointing in the same direction as our original vector. So this we've, we've reduced this vector down to just its, just its direction. So this is our, its magnitude, or its length, and this is its direction. If we multiplied that together, we'd have the whole vector. So this vector expressed as a um, product of its magnitude and direction is going to be um, 5 times uh, negative 3 fifths i minus 4 fifths j. Now, obviously, that's our answer. But obviously, if we, if we distribute it at 5, we get back to what we started with. But what we've done here is, is separate this vector out uh, with its, its magnitude and its direction.